our social work started from was from rich white people being like, let's go down there to Flea Bottom and teach fucking uh, Skid Row. And we're like, these guys are all fucked up. Let's go down there and measure their heads. Flea Bottom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking uh, Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. <laughs> yeah, it started out with white people being like, look, I th- hear me out on this, but I think you can measure people's heads to see if they're smart or not. And yeah. we'll go down. You can also tell if they're criminals, too, by like the way their eyes are. And you go down there, and if, if they are criminals by looking at their eyes, let's just teach them not how to be pieces of shit. And that was that's where social work started. It's funny that that was like that used to be like Minority Report back then. They're like, we finally have the technology to, <laughs> you know, pre crime. We can prevent crime. How big is his fucking forehead? Like this guy looks retarded. This guy I looks think retarded. there's a link. I think there's a link. And unfortunately, there's no doubt in my mind that there was a strong link between dudes who had like deformed heads. <laughs> and vicious crimes back in the, the old well, because day. they used to like come by and be like please sir you help me get out of here you fucking freak and you would yeah. kick them ew dude you look yeah. fucked up yeah they put them in bell towers and shit your mom probably did something bad that's why you look like that get the fuck yeah. out of here yeah for sure yeah if you were a freak you had to hide <laughs> yeah. people would be like, throw rocks little <laughs> kids would see you and instinctively be like fuck man yeah, throw freak. a rock at you and their parents would like, throw rocks at the freak again <laughs> have another <laughs> here's one more spoon of soup you fucking hit that freak you hit him good <laughs> That's my boy. Remember, I used to throw rocks at freaks back in my day. <laughs> Guy finally jumped off of a mountain, but... <laughs> anyway, he raped a bunch of girls and then killed himself. But uh, now it's yeah, the freak's problem. One time I pegged him right in the nuts. Your uncle, your brother is like, you didn't hit him in the fucking nuts. You hit him in the leg. Like, Fuck, you had a big freak. You had a big freak I, the freak the- <laughs> I saw his nuts. I saw the freak down in the lake taking a bath. He had the biggest he fucking nuts. Not. <laughs> he did not. I saw his nuts. They were- he didn't hit his nuts. <laughs> He's been telling this story for years. He didn't hit the freaks nuts. I did. It was a fucking arrowhead. I found it. Fucking hit him. (laughs) Skipped it right across the water. Jumped out. Hit the freak right in the deck. He was on a date. He was on a date. The freak was on a date. I mean, dude, can you trust the fact that, I mean, people did write history. (laughs) I can't trust the fact that some guy, there's got to be people got to be like, all right, and write down for the official record what happened. It was four dudes and like, Oh, yeah, do you see that time I, like, jumped over all those dudes and killed those people? They're like, oh, yeah, yeah, dude, that was right before, like, I got pussy and, uh, like, won that other battle. Like, oh, yeah, dude, I forgot. Yeah, you did that. It was sick. There's no way you kept people from not lying. No. Because didn't John Smith lie? Wasn't John Smith, like, a fucking total liar? I do think uh, I've I've been hearing that a little. been hearing rumblings of that. I thought it was acceptable. You could, like, come home and spin a yarn and they'd be like. Oh, yeah. John Smith was, like, a known, like, uh, he would, I mean, he was. He's exaggerating. He was literally in a new world writing history. True. Literally no one was there to be (laughs) like. Today I got here, got pussy, and the chief tried to break it up, but she thought I was hot. But I ended up fucking a (laughs) 12-year-old. I think think Pocahontas was, like, nine. (laughs) I could be wrong. I think think she peeped his game for, like, three years, though. Finally, he was like, no. It was like DMX and Belly. He was like, yo, chill, you're only 12. I'll let you suck my dick. Yeah, and it was something else. I think it was like John Rolfe or something married her, yeah. Sir Walter Ralph. I forget. There's all these fucking guys. They're literally all the same. Yeah. And they, the whole team hit. Yeah. The whole squad hit. Everybody ran a squad. The whole squad hit Hontas, yeah. dude. <laughs> squad ran deep on well, Nobody Hontas. talks about Belly. How I'm like, dude, Belly's all the heat. DMX is like, yo, you're only 16. I'll let you give me head, though. That was like back then. That was like, for sure, dude. Yeah. Put and, that, document that. Yeah. And that was, uh, I think I've also I'll go on the record in 2020 saying that that 16 year old actress, I'm sure she wasn't 16 because I thought she was very attractive. She must be older. They might have, dude. I you think don't they know. casted an older lady because, dude, you know she was. I mean, hot. it was the girl written. with like it was was in her room in her like pink room on the phone. It's like yeah, I sucked his dick oh, too. Dude. I, was, I was a kid like. <sighs> the girlfriend from Friday. Yeah, she's the whole thing Craig. Was hot. Oh boy, don't get me started. Oh, uh, girlfriend from. Don't get me started. It, to this day, whenever I'm at the bank and like if a lady at the bank has fake nails on the keyboard, I'm like, keep it together, Matt. I'll hear that. No, I hear that. Like, clack, 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 clack. And I'm like, oh, God, Jesus Christ. You're, really? You like the fake nails? Oh, boy. Did you ever get your back scratched by them or your head just like this? Yes. Oh. Yes. Oh, God. Um, it's a new experience. Whew, it's a good one. The um, <laughs> I, I completely lost train of thought. I'm thinking about getting scratched Think about those long nails. Just clacking that keyboard. Yeah. And they see my bank account. I would go to TD at the time when I had like 75 bucks in my bank. And they'd be like, I'm like, oh, my God, this lady's so hot. Pull up 75 bucks. Like, I'm like can I have 10 bucks? <laughs> yeah, thank his dad. Yeah, man. You just have to go to dad. Be like, can I get like 10 bucks to get like snacks? Yeah. I'm also laughing, too, at thinking like in, in when they film Belly, they're like, all right, X, you're going to freestyle. You're talking to your girlfriend. Go. And he's like, I'm going to let you suck my dick because you're 16. And they're like, holy shit, dude, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like, what? You're not leaving that in? They're like, fuck it. Keep it. 
Why don't yeah, you suck was, my dick though? But man, you can't tell anyone. That's it's sexy. Pedophile. DMX it was like, banging uh, his lady in that in the shower. Who'd you like better, his lady or uh, T Boz? T Boz in that scene, DMX's lady. DMX is bad. But and DMX, DMX looked good. DMX man. is bad. DMX is back, dude. <laughs> Boomer, dude. He looked fucking. And he's a short king too. So he, that's like he's yeah, showing yeah. you how you short king it. You just you get a sick back tat. And if your girlfriend catches you cheating on her, you just fuck her really hard. You act quick. You come out of the shower hot. Yeah. Also, you think X was like, is this okay if I eat your pussy? <laughs> Excuse me. Is it okay if I eat your pussy right now while you're mad? Yeah. The, uh, that's what he did. He was like, all right, I fucking, I'm a pedophile, but that doesn't stop me from fucking you right now. <laughs> She's 16. I wonder if Epstein pulled that off or tried to. On? Like just people caught him. Being a pedophile, he just fucked them, and he was like, "What'd you say?" <laughs> They're like, you "Oh, to fuck, fuck him real quick." Yeah, he just turned on a black light and starts fucking them. I'm like, damn, this looks sick, dude. Sorry, I'm wrong. Yeah, young Jeffrey. Yeah, that was a nice. That was a nice. Uh, it was a good scene where DMX has sex with his girlfriend. They they make up. Yeah. About his transgressions. About his transgressions. With a minor. <laughs> you know, minor. Yeah, a sixteen year old was sucking his dick. He taught her how to give head. True. And then she was like, "I heard you had sex with a young kid," and he was like. Check well, out these alien posters. I'm about to black. fuck you. <laughs> I'm but I'm break out of this with some sex. Yeah. Uh, where are we at time wise? I think we've we scratched in the bottom. We're back to belly below. talk. True. That's when we know. It's all <laughs> we usually like. have exhausted. Another all. thing about belly. The movie. One belly. more thing about belly. Do you know Method Man? No. The um. Yeah, Lemare. Where are we at? Lemare. Uh, you... like oh wow, this is perfect. Yeah, it's good um, stuff. Yeah. I don't know. I think it's pretty good. First time in the studio. First studio. Th- it, it, yeah, it does get a little awkward. It's uncomfortable at first. But the studio, we're gonna the studio is gonna be good. We're gonna get rid of this dog shit pirate map here shortly. You can ha- you can take it back. I get, I get some use for this. <laughs> yeah, what use? I hang it behind myself on Zoom. <laughs> what, what you think I did well and dine have this thing behind me in Zoom? I was That's like, you true. know what? I'll share my pirate flag. Shane deserves cool things every now and again. <laughs> <laughs> we should get a pirate flag. True. Yeah. Those yeah. are some cool flags. They got some really cool ones. Not just not just that. I'm talking like actual old pirate no, flags. You rule. ever look at those? T- but yeah, but dude, once we showed stars and bars, we replaced this with a pirate flag. It's a statement. Oh, well, we'll see. We'll see how the government well, we handles can, No, we can actually have a pirate flag. We can fold this perfectly and put it in a case. That's, that's you got to fold ending. it. That's a happy ending. I'll fold this thing in two seconds, dude. You could never. I can assemble a rifle while I fold this thing. No problem. I could figure out how to <laughs> pop a gun out of a bullet while All I load right. this thing. Uh, I will be in Helium, St. Louis, the 18th. Oh, actually, I think it's the 19th, 20th, and 21st now. Got to figure that out. I think I got bumped by uh, a female comic. Really? Bumped you back? Yeah. They got in there first? I think they're doing Thursday, and I'm going to do Sunday now. I figured they let you Friday, Saturday, take Sunday. the first wave of like... Well, I was supposed to take the first wave, but then... That got pushed back. Sure. So the guy who was the next week, they're not going to move him back to. Uh, they just right, switched right, me. Right, 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 right. Um, so yeah, I think the 19th, 20th, 21st. Just look at the website. Uh, Helium Comedy St. Louis. Hell yeah. And uh, this, is our, this is our studio. We're going to record here. We're probably, maybe the gamer chair bit. We'll see how that goes. Yeah, we can give people who are on the We can chair. make the guests sit in the gamer chair. Our whole thing was to make our guests sit in regular chairs, and we sat in gamer chairs. <laughs> yeah, I know. And now we might be the idiots. Well, I told you the story about when I had to pick up this gamer chair from UPS. No. Oh, my God, dude. I fucking went to UPS. So it got mailed. It didn't It didn't get here, so I had to go to UPS to pick, or FedEx, wherever it was, to pick it up. And it was like, it was still pre-coronavirus. So UPS has weird hours where it shuts down for like an hour and then opens back up. And so like at 2.30 or 3, it opens back up. So I'm in a line with like four or five other people. And while we're waiting to get in there, like, dude, fucking 30 people get in line. So we finally all get in there. And then like, oh, so I'm man. sitting there and I'm like arguing, like, no, it's here. And I'm like, like kind of like, I need this. I'm acting like I urgently needed our chair. So I'm like, no, blah, blah, blah. And then like all of a sudden, like, is this it? And it just has like respawn gamer chair. And it has like this, it has like, like these fire graphics on it, dude. Oh. And I'm fucking, I, I'm like, fuck it's in the box and like the picture on the box i'm like everyone's kind of looking at me and i'm like fuck <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then some kid goes to his mom like mom mom he's got a gamer chair mom oh. everybody has them can i get a gamer chair and the mom looked at me like you fucking dork. loser and i was like i was like and it was heavy so i was like straining i'm like fuck <laughs> <laughs> i like wimped out on my gamer chair i was like kind of looking at the kid like yeah dude fuck you yeah gamer chairs are tight i'm not gonna let anybody criticize our studio into me not thinking gamer chairs are tight. 
that is a hundred percent gonna fall back here shortly and it's it's gonna be great that's how i'm gonna die i'm getting impaled by a bullhead and suffocated by memory flag. <laughs> All right, all right. That's how you get tough, dude. That'd be my goal. All right, let's end this can, episode. can you take this? <laughs> oh. <laughs> my girlfriend and I went and laid down. I was going to take a nap. Dude. I boyfriended out, though, too. True. I was like, babe, just stay in. <laughs> I, know, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I know you don't want to do this. I'm not going to make you do this. I was excited to go back out, but I was just laying there, and I was like, dude, it also would be nice to feel the opposite of how I felt this morning. And then I woke up the next day. Mud-o. I would have given anything to be where you were at. I felt so good. I watched a ton of Adam twenty. I watched Adam twenty two try to convince a black dude to show him his dick. <laughs> That's good. It was so funny, dude. It's just a short, and he's in there saying like, uh, "This guy, I'm guessing a guy he knows is starting to do porn," and he's like, "The guy's talking about he's going to do porn." Adam's like, "You got a big dick," and he's like, "What?" He goes, "I want to, I want to pop the hood, man. I want to see what's under the hood." And the guy kept being like, "You can't say shit to me like that, Adam. I'm famous now." <laughs> I got motherfuckers watching me talk about, mm, I'm going to pop the hood. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, tell them somebody going to pop the Yo, hood. Adam 22 is yeah. sus. Super sus. Dude, sussy. yeah, obviously. But he, he might be. I've come around on him. I mean, it's just from one night of watching him. He makes yeah. me laugh so hard. Yeah, he's pretty funny. He's very funny. And he was a BMXer, too. Oh, I didn't know he was a BMXer. That's sus. It's just wildly sus. Yeah, he's trying to be Jason Ellis, dude. <laughs> yeah. But he's about to take some shops to the shop. Sus. Him, yeah. what I like what he does during interviews, he just completely absorbs whatever language. Like if someone's talking, he'll be like, Yeah, but you were on some like real like Chief Keef type shit. Yeah. And then the guy be like, Yeah, and I'm like, oh, but like it's so yeah. funny. Yeah, but you were like already turned. He's like, Well, I was turned in BMX. Well, you can only get so turned in BMX. <laughs> <laughs> dude, it's so funny. <laughs> Well, you always, you was turnt. Yeah, I was turnt. But I mean, you was turnt too. Like, well, I'm BMX. You only get so turnt in BMX. Just a serious discussion. Yeah, yeah that's how real. turnt you can get. <laughs> you're turnt. You're turnt right now. I'm not turnt right now. Yeah, huh? turnt, turnt, and popping are the same. I've been I not it. turnt. You're this turnt, week. dude. Took a nice non-turnt week. No, 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 no. It doesn't mean turnt now. <laughs> Got him in the sauna. <laughs> no. Me and Lamar are health dude. nuts now. Certified health nuts. Certified. I don't. I've never. No one's done worse than the sauna. What, what in Lamar? What do you mean? I you mean, quit in 30 seconds. You were like, quit. I want out of this. I was there, though. I stayed. I was like, I can't do this, but I'm going to do it. You got to yeah. You got to stop being a softy about the sled, dude. I hate the sled. It doesn't Wait, why do you hate dude? the sled so much? The sled's dumb. What do you, you both hit? It's dumb. Wait a second. What do you, why is it dumb? I don't know. I don't Lamar, know. Like, strength is just force. You're I just, think it's dumb because you're under those the load. muscles I need, really. Your legs? What are you talking about? I fucking do some squats or something. That's functional strength. The sled is absolute functional strength. For That's what? like the stuff to do to like stop a plane hijacking. <laughs> no. You, you saw the gorillas on the Golden Gate Bridge using the sled technique yeah. to push the bus. The I cows. saw that, and that changed my mind about the sled yes. for real. Like they, <laughs> you're gonna the need th- that strength <laughs> if we get shot by cops. Yeah. <laughs> if we need to push a bus at the police, dude, I can so push a bus So we can escape right to the Redwood Forest. Are you standing on the sled, or what's, what's the weight on the sled? It's one of the, you, you've seen it at Rogan's. Oh, yeah, yeah, like yeah. It's like mechanical a mechanical. I got it. Yeah. It's, it's very, hard. very hard. You got to get that. You got to fucking. Dude, everything's so much fun. And then when we get to, I get so mad when we get kettlebells to the Kettlebells suck dick yesterday. I, yeah, the kettlebells did suck. <laughs> but like, sucked. I fucking, I could deal with that. I can yeah. deal with that. But why do you get the sled, though? The sled is like, he's like little kid levels of hates it. He's like, that thing's bullshit. I hate that thing. He like hates it as an object. I How? just get furious. I don't know. I just get get channel that anger, son. Huh? Channel that anger, son. I do. I, do. Yeah. <laughs> I did the first one. I channeled it pretty hard, and then I was like, "This is still bullshit. Why the fuck am I still doing this?" <laughs> is it like what's frustrating you? The fact, like, just the weight of it, or like it's not going as far and fast as you want? Yeah. Why does it have wheels and go so slow? <laughs> <laughs> That's a fair point. That's I don't know a why that fair bothers point. me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> so you should I'm be going have... faster than this. <laughs> You're an engineer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's literally, it's called the torque. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but are you saying this is an invention that was made to help man, not hold him back? Yeah, Will, was, that's technology. You're watching technology thwart you. I'm using technology become retarded. Yeah, you should be pushing that sled at like 100 miles an hour with just like plants popping up behind you, <laughs> not sweating. Yeah. And when you're pulling it, it should be the pants should be dying. True. What about the sauna, though? What's wrong with the sauna? It was just hot, dude. <laughs> the sauna was too hot. The sauna was actually it was too hotter hot. than usual. It was like 190. Oh. It was, uh, 
and it was going up. I saw it. it was I can, you could see the. <sighs> it was going up, and I was like, "Damn!" And I, the last thing I need in there is somebody else that wants to quit. True. I got in there. I was like, "I'm usually mentally, I'm doing exactly what the mayor's saying, which yeah. is as soon as you walk in, you go, This is too hot. I want to leave right now. This is bad.'" Yeah, I need someone in there that's like, you have to stay. Dude, yeah, I hit like, the whip off, though. We stayed in there. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and you did good in the cold plunge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Cold plunge. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> what a cold plunge. It hasn't gotten easier. No. It does plunge, not no, get it's easier. It's very difficult. And the sauna doesn't get easier either. You, now you know how much it blows. Yeah, the problem is, you know, my problem with saunas and stuff like that is like, I'm going to die. My yeah. head, I'm going, I'm going to die. But then in the second time, I go, all right, well, I didn't die. Yeah, I did yeah, but it's still that's the whole die. point of it is you're like True. I'm dying. Yeah, you go, I could die. The cold now, plunge though. is I'm dying. I need out. Yeah, the cold plunge is fucked up. The yeah. cold plunge, the jury's still out whether or not I'm gonna die from the cold plunge. Slow roasting your organs, dude. Now it's good for you. You gotta get ice packs for your dicks though. Why? I saw Huberman's was saying that you gotta put an ice pack on your bird to keep, preserve your sperms. Or, yeah, you don't want to heat them boys up. But yeah. you can also just. Dump a load and then have fresh sperms. I do. Th- if I get an ice pack in a sauna, I can do thirty minutes. Like on your dicks. Yeah. If I get an ice pack for my nuts, I can do thirty. Minutes, I think. Yeah. Dude, the mayor. You already why, have to beat us. You in, say shit like you already this. have to beat us in basketball. You couldn't oh, yeah, do we what we just basketball. did. I did it. We did it. We took a break, dude. We'll do it again, <laughs> and I'll say the whole time. Yeah, but you couldn't. Why would you say you can do thirty? Because I did seventeen <laughs> or. 10 twice <laughs> <laughs> you're talking ice pack on your nuts you're good for another 10 minutes i think if i do a, if i have an ice pack on my nuts i can do 20 straight through for sure Let I'll, me pop. I'll, gi- I'll give you that <laughs> let me pop the hood and see what you're working <laughs> yeah I mean, we need to know how big this ice pack is just get the walmart one <laughs> the ice box <laughs> true i think that would also just suck ass having a fucking cold dick ice yeah. on your dick yeah, I don't know. I I don't think it'll. Uh, I feel like if it sounds like these guys might be fucking with us. All these health guys, <laughs> they could be. Just like yeah, we'll make them put ice on their dick and sit in a hundred ninety degree room and be <laughs> like, yeah, it works. It saves you from everything. My dick's never been better. Guys in Sweden don't have cancer anymore. <laughs> you go, yeah, I I had a, I did the steam room the the night the day before we left, and I was uh, I they had cold towels outside of the steam room, and I was gonna put the cold towel on my dick to just test the theory, but there was one other guy in the steam room, so I just sat with the towel and was like. It's like rub my head. I was like, I'm not gonna stiff, yeah. shove this down my pants right now. Yeah. <laughs> Can we take a cold towel into the sauna? Yeah. The now cold t- towel. Now, now this is exactly what Brian Simpson does. I really? told you, you guys were the same in this. Yeah. What's he do? He puts a cold, wet towel on top of his head, and he's like, "Come on, guys, this is nothing." It's like, take that the fuck yeah, off. Yeah, you, you can't do it. Don't talk you can't shit. do it. Because then, yeah, because then you're like cooling the top of your head. I don't know. Yeah. It's like releasing That's heat. That's the or worst something. part. I know hats keep heat on your head, so the towel probably. Takes the third law of thermodynamics. Absolutely. <laughs> Dude, the funniest was when we were leaving the airport. We're, we were flying out, and I had Shane's ticket on mine. So I had, like, Shane, my, like, they yeah. do them in groups. Yeah. So I buzz, and it's like, I buzz Shane's ticket, and I go to walk on. Shane's is buzzing, and it's, it's not going through. And I'm, like, looking at mine, like, because it happens with our family all the time. Yeah. Where we have a bunch of people traveling. So I'm like, oh, I probably buzz his. I came back and the lady's like, you want to be Shane so bad, don't you? <laughs> yeah. and I was like, what? <laughs> Are you from about? the Reddit? <laughs> <laughs> You're a YouTube it comment? Because I came through the tunnel like I was probably his and the lady just hit me completely out of the blue and I was I was happy I didn't like spaz and be like, oh, no, I do I yeah, yeah. No, I don't. I don't even care. <laughs> Being famous is probably stressful as hell. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, ha, 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 ha. Yeah. here's the correct one. It was very funny. Bitch. It was a very, it was a very funny to have a stranger. No. <laughs> <laughs> what? Yeah, Don't trigger was... my orson- organismic narcissism, dude. <laughs> that was uh, that was a terrible Sunday. Yeah, yeah. The brewski saved me. Or Monday, I mean. Monday. It was a Monday. I had about six pack of brewskis. I was back. I, was, I mean, it was terrible, but. That was leaving the sauna. Yeah. You stepped out of the sauna, six brewskis. All right. I can I can manage this. When we first met up <laughs> and we're walking around the casino, I couldn't talk. I know. Like you were talking I to me. That. I was yeah. like, yeah. <laughs> I'd be like, what do you want to eat? You're like, um, Yeah, I'd be like, like dude, oh, I, fuck. I, I for real, I can't. <laughs> I'm fucking dying. I yeah. thought you were saying that as like, uh, just like fucking around, like I can't talk right now. Yeah. And we I went to like, get food and you're like, oh. <laughs> Yeah, I was like, bro. Like, oh I'm, my God. I fucking can't do it. <laughs> This is bad. Yeah, dude. But that was nice meeting up with McCaffrey. 
He's the best man. Him his and his brother, brother. His brothers. Was, yeah. His brother's babe. That was nice. Yeah, they were. He was. He was a really cool, nice guy. Do you think this year's hangover or last year's hangover was worse? Mm. Uh this year. Mm. But this is only because it's in recent memory. Yeah, hangover was one of the worst. Though. Yeah, this was one of the worst ones I've ever had. Yeah. <sighs> Thank was God you, I didn't get there Thursday. Next, your, if uh, I go next year, it's just Saturday, Sunday. Yeah. Was your body hot too when you got woke Dude, up? The hangover? Every single symptom of a hangover <laughs> times one. ten. Uh, and then it sucks too because like when you're drinking, all of your like anxiety and all that stuff goes away, but it truly does like come quadruple. Back. Yeah. Yeah. The next day, it's just like, what did you do? I was like, holy fuck! I haven't even thought about my SNL monologue. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> anything is possible. <laughs> oh. Yeah, that's uh, you know, you should just go on SNL and show YouTube videos <laughs> for a while. <monologue. laughs> the fail army, like here you go. Yeah, dude, dude wait till you guys see this. Guy's this. Hit his nuts. <laughs> Watch this. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I'm not gay no more. Yeah. <laughs> I am delivered. I could just say that. I could say this is Lauren Michaels asked me to say this. <laughs> We're not gay no more. <laughs> SNL is delivered. <laughs> it will be delivered. I've been watching other monologues. TV type. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm more of like Twitter files, uh, sub stack kind of yeah. guy. <laughs> oh, yeah. You're Dude, you know how many sub stacks I've tried to read and it's been like, I can't possibly keep I doing can't it. read anything. I, I turn on sub I do it all the time. Like I'm gonna get this sub stack and I'm like it's forty seven percent fucking I'm done. I yeah. can't I'm I I'm done. Dude Percentile. I listen to this, I'm out. Yeah, I just, I'm right. All right. I'll, let me just scan <laughs> yeah, I'm right about everything I thought. Dude, we were listening to Alexander Hamilton on the way here. Yeah. The book. I got a little more glimpse into his like his early childhood. I Dude, I think I saved it. I laughed so fucking hard on the way. I mean, it's the worst thing in the world, dude. <laughs> Just listen to this. In this the Bahamas or whatever? Dude, this is his. So him and his mom both got sick. So they brought in like the best doctors they could find. Dude. <laughs> Which expelled gas from the elementary canal. So they, they gave his mother Valerian. Sorry, they gave his mother Valerian root, which makes you just fart constantly. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it sucks about. Like the elementary you get the toxins out with farts. They gave his mom Valerian root, and they fucking gave blood. Led him. It, it just, it's the funniest thing in the world. Which expelled gas from the elementary canal. Alexander submitted to bloodletting and an enema. Mother and son must have been joined in a horrid scene of vomiting, flatulence, and defecation as they lay side by side in a feverish state in the single upstairs bed. The delirious Alexander was probably writhing inches from his mother when she expired at nine o'clock on the Oh night shit, the night. dude. <laughs> His mom's farting. <laughs> See, his mom farted to death. <laughs> he was shitting. Wait, why did they give him an enema? What was his? What were they saying? They had fevers, dude. <laughs> they had bad. Oh, yeah, we're gonna shove shit up your ass and cut you. <laughs> he was shitting and bleeding, and his mom was just farting nonstop. <laughs> Holy fuck! How old was he? I think like fourteen or fifteen. Old enough that that sucks. Oh, it's terrible, dude. Yeah, and his mom was kind of a slut. You told me that last time. Yeah, and I, we confirmed it too. They, dude. So he shits himself, and his mom just slowly, slowly, he just, he's just like, <laughs> <laughs> it's quiet. He's like, "Mom, mom, are you mom, there? Mom? Nope, maybe the one death rattle. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> he's writhing in diarrhea, like oh. just uh, bleeding all over the place. And they're like, "Dude, your mom's dead." And the people came from the town and quarantined. Like, you guys can't leave this room quarantine him into the house and then his her ex-husband came by right after was like this house is mine now because you guys are <laughs> bastards and your mom's a fucking whore you guys shit that one whole room up though dude that he gave, yeah fucking so that's a gave, guest room so he, he shits himself next to his dead mother yeah and then the is this guy who like you know the mom well it's funny because down the line he gets adopted after his mom dies and like some other guy dies he gets adopted mysteriously by this dude. And it's like, like the, the kid hit like a roughly his age is like, 
you look just like me. And everyone in town's like, these guys are brothers. So they, they, the historians think that like the guy had plugged his mom. Yeah. And as soon as she died, he was like, fuck it. Because he didn't take his other brother. Yeah. He just took uh, I'll Alexander. Take the little, I'll take the little shit box. And dude, and they fucking, <laughs> they looked like twins. They don't include that in the fucking Broadway play, do they? That's what I'm saying. They, like, I, my mom was shitting and I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I was bleeding all over the me place. Me and my mom were farting, y'all. <laughs> 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 so the lady is so the he's a bastard because his mom bastard in a basket just left yeah. and married this other guy the hamilton who just his father left him but i don't think he was i think he got abandoned by his fake father his father allegedly got cuckled nobody wanted this kid no true well except for his real dad was finally just kind of like Oh, come on, babe. This poor kid. We got to help yeah. him. It's like, oh, my fucking God. I can't believe I'm getting away with this. My bastard son. So, yeah, yeah you got to get his boy. But, um, yeah, dude. And then, like, he so he his mom died. Shit himself. You know, his mom farted to death. <laughs> he shit all over the place. It's a good they, thing you can't die from that now because my mom would be dead. <laughs> <laughs> mom, no, I'm, I'm worried about you. Mom's are worse. <laughs> I boopered. <laughs> Did you booper? <laughs> so the dad, so I swear to God, my mom called him boopers when we were young. That's so fucking funny. Booper is funny. Brittany doesn't like fart. I, I, I've, I have won. That was a battle. Fart she, was a bad word when we were young. Dude, fart. Wasn't it? I was allowed I to say like when I said fart, it was a problem. If I was like, I farted, they'd be like, stop, you're being fresh. But Brittany tried to establish poot as like the fart word in our That's house. That's weird. Dude, and I said, look, man, we're, we're not, not going to be this. weird. We're not a weird family. Yeah, we're not doing exactly. I we're said, on the cusp already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, look, we're right on the border yeah. of being the weirdest family anybody's <laughs> ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> we can't say poot. <laughs> we cannot say poot. That, that was a battle. Dude, there was like lexicon battles where I was like, these kids are saying fart. And the first couple of times, my was like, I farted. And I see Brittany. We're a fart family. I see Brittany going. <laughs> Under this roof, we're a fart family. <laughs> it's my mother-in-law's yeah. going all pissed off. Like, we're not saying fucking poot, you weirdos. Yeah. Fuck that. It was fart. My friend was a Heine burp family, dude. Heine burp? <laughs> I used to say Heine burp. I used to say Heine burp, dude. Tommy says TT for taking a piss and it makes me want to kill him. Yeah, I get in trouble for saying it's piss like, too. I'm gonna take a TT. I'm like, geez, you say piss. I get in trouble. I hate that word. It's like what piss? I want to say I'm gonna urinate. Saying crap to people bothers them. Crap I is really nice. like say I got stand up from a table and go. I'm about to take a crap. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pardon me. I have to crap. I guess. I guess. What do you do in polite society? You, just, you have to euphemize it. Like I'm gonna go release. I need some, to. I gotta yeah. make room. I need to release my bladder. <laughs> There is a polite way to be like, excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Pardon me, I have to visit the powder room. Yeah, true. I have to relieve. I have to powder my nose. <laughs> That's a euphemism for, I'm going to go crap out, drop a mud pile back there. Dude, so Hamilton, mom dies. I'm going to take my shirt off and drop a horse pile. <laughs> <laughs> or you can politely ask me, like, uh, where's the bathroom? And they go, it's over there. And be like, I was thinking more of an upstairs. Kind I was thinking of more of a taking a shit type yeah, place. I was thinking maybe I'd <laughs> head. Seclusion. Maybe I need to get higher ground on it's this It's going to be thing. loud crap. Because I'm going to drop a, large, a, gigantic, a gigantic fucking dump, and it's going to need to travel downwards, <laughs> not straight across. Yeah. We're going to need gravity behind this log. <laughs> <laughs> There's a log plume. I'm going to need to get up to the top. <laughs> so be like, hey, did you ever clog your toilet? How big was the turd? Because mine's about to be probably record size right now. What's the biggest, <laughs> what's the biggest turd your toilet's ever choked down? <laughs> Cause I'm about to choke your toilet. <laughs> how how big is the hole in your toilet? Cause <laughs> yeah, you'll never guess who clogs the toilet between people. Women can clog the toilet, dude. Yeah, dude. I mean, I don't I, think it's the pile though. I think they overwipe. You think they overwipe? I don't think women drop piles like that, dude. I'm telling you, I'll never stop talking about my aunt's turd. My cousin, oh, yeah, my cousin brought me. <laughs> you witnessed it. It was just a like a regular. You know, like when you were a kid, you had no agenda on the day at all. Yeah, I just walk into my cousin's house. I'm like, yeah, maybe there you have like good cereal. Open up the thing. My cousin's like, dude, come here. You got to see my mom's <laughs> come shit. Here, dude. <laughs> and it's brought me upstairs. So like, it was a pale brown. That was, my, that was the first pale. It was the white clay. whale. It was the, the color of this couch. It was the white whale. <laughs> <laughs> You've been looking for it ever since. <laughs> You're Captain AF. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta find another one. <laughs> it's the color of this very couch, dude. This might be it. It they was clay. Upholstered it. <laughs> it was like a red clay. You of said the it was split in half, like the Titanic. 
I think, I think, it, was it, or I was think it? it was shipwrecked. Yeah. But dude, I mean, it was like curled nicely. It had a nice like pine cone cluster to it. Nothing, oh my God. nothing crazy. Not like a corn cob, yeah. but like. But it was ribbed like on the a, way out. She e- felt it. <laughs> <laughs> she, fucking, she felt that thing. <laughs> it was rung like a tree. It was like tree rings, dude. It was. You can see how old it was. It was an old growth, dude. It was just three hours old. <laughs> it's been. <laughs> I told my cousin to cut it in half so I get the age on it. I'm like, right here is a World War II. Oh, this- fuck, dude. Stop. <laughs> Showing somebody your mom's turd. It's so fucking funny. Be like, dude, you got to see my mom's shit. <laughs> the fact that he had eyes on it. He had put eyes on it. <laughs> and saved it. Was, did he know you were coming or was he just like, I, I, got, I can't coming. wait till someone comes he over. Was coming. He put eyes on it and he preserved it, dude. He was like a historical committee. <laughs> you cannot flush this turd. He was in there. <laughs> hey, oh. my mother had oatmeal for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Holy fuck, dude. Oh my! Yeah, it's the same cousin that you, we used to play Sniff the John, where it was like if you, if you, 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 he would take a dump and make me and my younger cousin. He's like, I want to see how close you can get to that and sniff it. We'd oh. have to get like inches from a turd and go. <laughs> <laughs> we just go outside and kill bees. <laughs> oh, dude! I used to kill as many bees as I could every day. I didn't know they were endangered. I feel bad. Yeah. Dude, I'm telling you, I killed one summer. I would, I think I caused like a little bit of the bee shortage. A dip in the area. I didn't stop, dude. I killed yeah. them. It was weeks. I just sat there and every bee I saw captured, killed. I would shake them in containers, make them fight each other. Pretty sick. Did they ever fight? Yeah, bees. Was, they, 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 they would like a, crawl across each other. And yeah. I'm like, they're fighting. They're yeah. fighting. I always had a poor record with making animals fight in spider like, versus bee. Spider. I would try to get spiders to fight. Oh. They didn't fight that much. Yeah. I don't think I ever successfully got a spider fight. I think no. I came back and one was dead, and I was like, that's the champion. Dude, when you asked me to the bees fight him, I was like, yeah, but I was like, no, they're probably just I crawling. They I think they're just crawling. Yeah, they're pro- they were probably in there like, dude, what are we, yeah, where were, are we? They were going to shake and be <laughs> like, hey, get the fuck out of my way, dude. We're clearly in a cage match. These intelligent species put us in a cage yeah. match. We're just fighting for our freedom. I buried a grasshopper in a sandbox for four days in a Chinese food container, and it lived. Four days later, it popped it out, and it was just hopped away. Yeah. Had fully, no recollection of fully the, ultimate the warrior, dirt. ultimate warrior to fucking grass. Yeah, grasshopper just sat in the darkness for four days. <laughs> yeah, and they got released. Really got released and was like, "What the hell was that?" <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bug matches were sick. Bug we were matches little. were so fucking cool. Yeah, like a fucking thousand legger bee grasshopper and shake it as hard as you could. And be like, I think they're fucking punching each other right Potions now. Potions on ant hills. <sighs> You ever concoct things and just dump it on animals? My cousin made potions and would try to feed it to potions my Potions on animals was great. The potion on an anthill was nice. Anthill. Not a, I wouldn't I was more of a magnifying glass guy. Oh really? I never got the magnifying glass. Yeah, I, I never made it work. Glass guy. It was pretty nice. I didn't have the patience for it. I think I just I, fuck, I think I just like I don't think I actually burnt them. I think I just fucking I was like, Yeah, they're fucking cooking under this thing. <laughs> yeah, this is hurting those animals. <laughs> I would, I was a big roly poly guy. Oh, I love, rock, them. Get I them, love those just, guys. Yeah, those guys are safe in my book. They were they, they were, were safe. I don't know why. Every They're other animal, cool. every other insect, I would destroy. Roly poly, I would just hang out with. Yeah. Lightning bugs, I was a preserver. Of lightning lightning bugs, bugs, roly polies, ladybugs, ladybugs. St- still to this day. To this day, yeah. Still to this day, dude. I, I'm the guardian of those guys. Yeah. Dude. My aunt's house got fucking infected with them. Or, ladybugs and not infected. Infested. Infested. Yeah, just a whole corner of the house, bro. Was... I, I let them ride. Yeah, that I year. see them. <laughs> They're great. They're great pest defense. Not when it's thousands. Nah, that's a dude, lot. Dude, in the corner of a room like this, just the whole corner just was all ladybugs? covered with ladybugs. That wouldn't bother yeah. me, dude. I'll be honest. They're good for gardening, too. I mean, to, to be fair, yeah, obviously. Yeah, I, see I see the problem. I see the problem. But, dude. You'd have to break out the magnifying glass. Left, I'm saying. <laughs> Indoors. just. Ah. <laughs> that's all I can do. Yeah, you know, If they only get like a southern light exposure for three hours, like, look, I don't know. I can't do anything else. Get a shitty house. You should get more natural light. What are you guys sharing and shaking your head about? Nothing. I'll, I'll tell you after. <laughs> oh, okay. It's personal business? It, it, it's just not entertaining. Is it something highly personal and classified? <laughs> no, no. I'm Is sorry. It a dark, you, shameful I'm sorry you noticed that. No, no. It's okay. That's fine. I'm sorry to interrupt. Were you guys saying something like mean about another comedian or something together and laughing? <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Ding. Got it. Damn, sorry I, I smit that. The, the leftover chili was that. True, true. 
I guess you can't Obviously, make chili dogs the on chili. Leftover chili was had. What were the farts? <laughs> the farts. The farts were <laughs> catastrophic, dude. We all parted before we got the farts together. We all like, oh, yeah, we all went to our individual homes. Damn, yeah. you guys all four meet at the same time around like City Hall. That was the explode. Wuhan lab. <laughs> <laughs> you guys spread those. How farts. are your farts in the way? Oh, that rest. No, they're are, they are pretty powerful. <laughs> they're powerful too. <laughs> 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 God damn! That dude. was uh, that was the Trinity. <laughs> that was Los Alamos, dude. <laughs> so you guys had chili dogs, chili fries, then you make a graham cracker crust, yeah. apple pie. Yeah. Why the wild departure from the chili? That's like yeah, the departure into the apple pie is that's crazy. crazy. Yeah, that's that's wild, fucking dude. insane. Uh, me and Jabir walking through the grocery store, and I just saw a pie crust. I was like, I'm gonna make a pie. And I just wanted I made a pie. I'm telling you, you guys together are the fucking best. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you, I came home to them. Just came home. Lamar is watching the dogs. Appreciate that. I come home to Lamar and Jabri. And it was just like, there's something about the He's... two of them together. That's just so fucking perfect. Yeah. It's just, it's just Jabri laughing at Lamar. Yeah. And just feel and everywhere where Lamar has knowledge gaps. Jabri fills them in. I've experienced this for dude. How do you 12 years? It's dude. the best, dude. <laughs> yeah. I've watched them. Twice a week for 12 years. I watched them interact. I mean, that's why them popping fucking air mattresses is like, it's my favorite. And well, again, man. I've said it a thousand times. Jabri tells us, he told a story about he was just laying in bed looking at a spider's nest above him and it fell. <laughs> <laughs> he got covered in spiders. <laughs> and then the, the other ones just on, they're just farting and snoring on air mattresses. <laughs> and occasionally an air mattress would just pop. <laughs> Dude, I think between the two of them, they know how to do everything. Talking to Lamar today, Lamar's like, I can fix your fucking website. I'm like, sick, dude, definitely look into that. I had, My pan was fucked up. I'm like, oh, fuck, throw that pan out. Jabri's like, hold on one second. Uh, if you put olive oil on sea salt, it'll actually put a coating. I was like, yeah, but that's for like uh, cast iron. He's like, no, it works for nonstick as well. He's like, if this doesn't work, my fucking time at culinary school has been a waste. <laughs> dude, I do it. Fucking that pan lives again. Yeah. He fixed my pan. Yes, chef. <laughs> yes, chef, dude. He's totally militant in the kitchen. He's totally militant. Yeah, they're the fucking... Lamar, your video game show, you have to do it. You have to have Jabri, though. Yeah. You have to have him laughing at you lose to pro gamers while he goes, ha huh. <laughs> You yeah. didn't stand a chance, Lamar. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he's really good, too. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, he's good, dude. He's black and autistic. I'm telling you, they're all black yin yang, dude. They fit perfectly. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> you, have to, you guys got a chili dog before every episode. Yeah. And then make, make a guest withstand your farts yeah. for an hour. <laughs> Just some Swedish gamer, like, oh, yeah, I might just step out for a second. It's, yeah. <laughs> I was getting really <laughs> thick in here. <laughs> what were you eating? Chili dogs? <laughs> Oh, that they're so American. Getting, they're very thick in here. Yeah. yeah you every Swedish gamer that says the N-word online has to face your farts. Has to, yeah, that's their fucking penance. <laughs> <laughs> they have to sit in black stink. <laughs> <laughs> they have to sit in the blackest stink. <laughs> Chili dog farts from the big brothers, dude. <laughs> the brothers. <laughs> yeah oh that was God. what a time dude back when we watching these two operate like i can't i was so jealous that you got all that time i never got the, I like so much dude they they were out of control <laughs> it's the best dude. it was yeah you take it for granted but i got to watch them operate in a oh. world of it was such an interesting world we had it's the chameleon the, the chameleon yeah, club yeah the lizard lounge too we weren't like in the world we were just learning yeah. the world you guys are machine learning yeah what was your car uh ford focus yeah. <laughs> no ford fiesta you of course dude, dude there's in probably a... a focus that turned into a fiesta from all the cars dude <laughs> they also they were also both significantly bigger yeah. yeah dude they were huge and both of them would roll up in a fucking ford fusion or fiesta yeah. like the smallest car you've ever seen yeah and they would both get out <laughs> Jabri would have to sit in the backseat so he wouldn't hit shoulders. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys are driving Uber style? It was like when you have to weight balance on a small plane. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was insane, dude. I fucking 
fucking Cessna? <laughs> oh, that was insane. Oh, God, dude. You guys have no idea. What a treasure. I walked into my house and was like, just was like, oh, my. It was the best. Like, 20. I think it was 20 minutes. I was they like, no, showed no, no. Up, dude. Chill. Chill out. So take your time. I had yeah, to observe. Yeah, I need you boys to hang. Observe. Maya got to show them music videos, and it was just like, God, it was so fun. Their mom, them and their mom came to my show oh, in Philly. Yeah. So you got to charge up. I've, I mean, I've, the mom's the third brother. <laughs> <laughs> their mom's another one of them. Oh, it was awesome. They got, they, they were ordering food to go. <laughs> they ordered dinner and then we're like, we need more to take home. That was a good move. Immediately fucking smoked. It's very nice to watch them all. Wait, operate. so they, they put that thing on family them? unit, family unit, they ordered food, and then we're like, get us a bunch to go. And then they went outside, and the three of them. Well, I don't want to. No, yeah, What'd you guys walk away with? What'd you walk away with? What do you, in terms what? of loot? In terms of <laughs> yeah, what, what in terms of, of sandwiches? What kind of sandwiches are you walking? I think my mom got a steak and Jabri got wings. Oh, it's perfect, dude. Yeah, so sick. It, yeah, as soon as uh. We were outside smoking. Beast came out, and my mom like said to Beast, she was like, "Lamar wasn't funny when he was a kid." That was like the first thing she said. So, <laughs> was not funny. Know. Yeah. How did he get yeah. so damn funny? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> were you a serious child? Yes, dude. <laughs> yeah. Even funny. You like, were just uh, training. You got to be serious when you could hear gunshots like around the way. They would just like, <laughs> like we would like. Uh, she said we would hear a shot, and we'd be like, "We're fine. That's around the corner. We got a little bit of time." Before they, like, <laughs> and you and your brother had to waddle. Yeah, <laughs> quickly. <laughs> They're shooting their shots. How did you guys avoid bullets, dude? They, <laughs> no, oh. Oh, so the gunshots would go off in, the, yeah. in Detroit. We were just playing video games. We didn't it, was probably, it was probably Eminem bucking off, dude. <laughs> yeah, it was probably Cheddar Bob shooting himself. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Shit. Trying to say Eminem ain't from the eight mile, dude. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit. Eminem's obviously from the eight mile, dude. It's from a trailer park, dude. It's from a fucking trailer park. It's a fucking dude. trailer park. That was sick how that became like cool for white people. Like, yeah, the hood's cool. How about the trailer park? I'm also from the trailer park. Trailer park is pretty rough. Trailer dude. park's fucked, dude. <laughs> it's just people on meth. Well, people try to claim he wasn't from the TP. People try to come at him like, this is where he's actually from. Yeah. It's like, I don't know, man. Maybe. Stealing trailer park value or value yeah, is crazy. That is crazy. TP value. I, I think he spent some time in the TP. There's I don't no imagine way he, he would did. lie about being in the TP. It is a sick move dude, just to have like a billion dollar industry around of a huge lie that you weren't in the TP. Yeah. Every night. Have you it have collapse. To be, be gone, thoughts. Be devil. Everybody's going to find out that I grew up okay. <laughs> not great, but still not as bad yeah, as I've been yeah. saying. <laughs> Everyone's going to find out it wasn't that hard. Yeah. I th yeah. Whatever. I want to go to the TP. That's like my, my dad's friends are all about that. Trailer Selling parks? all their shit and then getting a trailer in Florida, trailer in PA, and you just chill. And they're, like, they're like, that's the move. Yeah. Two trailers, TP, hold it, and then you can go wherever you want, do whatever you want. I mean, to each their own. I don't yeah. know if that's the move for myself, but yeah, they're all about. Like, Everybody the, talks of that game. I don't think they're about it, though. About that? Everybody's always like, I just want to get it, like a cabin in the woods. It's like, yeah, yeah. spend a week up there. Yeah, true. You're going to go, I miss my friends. There's nothing to yeah. do up here. It's freezing. That's when it's time to put a gun in your mouth. Yeah. Wait, the, the pilot light thing is I'm flicking the button. It's not coming <laughs> yeah. on. Those things, fuck it. Those things are scary to fuck around with. What? When you're like fucking with one of those pilot light things, yeah. like a new fireplace in a different location. Yeah. Uh. I mean, Obama fucking bombed, you know, fucking weddings. Obama. <laughs> <laughs> Obama. Yeah. But uh, but but uh, yes, Jackson was a crazy but shrewd. A great yeah. thing about Jackson was that his part, his inaugural party in the White House. Yeah, uh, this is wild. They 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 stormed he, the cap. <laughs> he invited everybody. That's yeah. exactly right. They he invited them. everyone. He said anyone that wants can come. Uh, no, no invitation needed. It's the people's house. And the oh the house God. was crammed with common people getting drunk, getting stealing shit, shit. Face, destroyed, and the they wouldn't place. leave. And there's a there's a honor code in the White House. You don't ask someone to leave. You don't ever throw anybody out. So they couldn't get them. Like days went by where people are shitting on the floor <laughs> and raiding the fucking pantry and just 
fucking people and whatever. What? And so what they did was they got huge kegs of beer and they put them on the lawn. And they nice. said, hey, come out. Let's let's drink under the stars. Let's have, you know, <laughs> and they invited them out for beer on the lawn. And they all came outside and they locked, locked the doors. <laughs> <laughs> that was how he, he was a he was a people's president. Yeah. Like there was the first some, populist in his um, first yes. guy. Yeah. First one to appeal to the common person. Yeah. There was an author of uh, English guy. I read his bi- uh, biography of him and they have one account of an uh, English uh, traveling writer who would write travel logs. And uh, he was in Washington and he thought, well, what is it like? Can you meet the president? And he just why there wasn't a fence around. Yeah, the house people then. just could walk in. And so see he him. just walked to the front door and he knocked on the door and the, a butler came and to the door and said hello. And he said, I'd like to meet the president. And he's like, is he expecting you? And he goes, no. And the butler's like, all right, we'll come in and sit down. <laughs> and he went in. The guy waited like 20 minutes and Jackson came out of his office, which was like full of people. And he said, I'm in a pretty important, like, who are you? Yeah. And he said, I just wanted to meet you and say hi. And he was like, all right, can you wait an hour? <laughs> and he's like, sure. So he went and whatever, fucking signed a yeah. thing to kill all the Indians. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and then he came and had uh, sandwiches brought and he sat with the guy and just talked to him for an hour. Damn. Damn. He also went, he was the first president, I think, to ride on a, on a real like on a train he took a train he was the first one to do this that he went all over the country yeah he went came up to he went up to maine presidents never travel he was the first guy to do that like he thought people should see the president people should have contact whoa with the president the trail of tears he he flubbed that one yeah flubbed he, he nailed a bit it. of a fl- <laughs> <laughs> he did do exactly what his goal he did was what he tried to do <laughs> <laughs> fucking flubbed that was a bit of a flub. He, no he was not he didn't make mistakes I, I looked it up i don't know if you they had slaves it's yeah yeah the fucking dudes on the trail of tears they were like we got to bring our slaves if slaves are available folks get slaves that's yeah. just the way that goes i couldn't believe it but when when but he was peaceful yeah, yeah, that's point. what the part you don't hear is like the indians are like you know what he did to us and what he did to our slaves was yeah our slaves had it real bad on yeah. the trail of tears I mean, tell me about it yeah but didn't they like share everything with their slaves though I don't <laughs> yeah they were yeah, way yeah. better it was a like real peaceful it was egalitarian dude <clears throat> there were some no, of those he, good slave owners he uh the natives there is some story from the uh some chief big chief went to uh the white house to meet with the Jackson because Jackson was very honest. Yeah. He didn't underhand ever. He didn't play politics. He did horrible things, but he just went ahead and did them. Like there was a slave revolt during his presidency where they took over a fort. The slaves took over a fort and just said, we just want out. We just want to be taken to the north or Canada or whatever. And so he just got a bunch of cannons and just he just lit the whole place. Up, killed them. Bombed them. He didn't fucking care. So some famous like a name you'd recognize it wasn't like sitting bull but it was some big uh all of the indians the tribes all the tribes chose this guy yeah to negotiate with uh jackson and he went and talked to jackson just the two of them and he came out crying and said <laughs> what we're not, like, we're in trouble yeah he <laughs> says we're not he this is gonna go bad Oh, it's gonna go bad. No. no, he was. He just had his way of thinking about how it was gonna yeah. go. He's like, no, we got to clear these guys out of here. Also, in line with Trump, he was like, this is where the term mudslinging starts. Yeah, it was him and John Quincy. Their election or their debates and shit was. He would just talk. They would talk shit. There would be nasty rumors oh, in the papers. God. Whatever it took. Yeah. Whatever it took. No, yeah. I remember. I have a friend who's a Trump guy who I've known for a long time. I'm not going to say that his name is Nick DiPaolo. <laughs> but, <laughs> uh, knowing Nick has always given me some insight into the into the mentality of that kind of guy, not just yeah. Trump, but guys like Jackson. I remember once I was with Nick and a lot of people, and he was um, and like three uh, Democrats were yelling at him. And he was starting to say crazy, fucked up things to them. And at one point, I'm like, Nick, you even you know that's wrong. And he yeah. goes... It's three against one. Like, <laughs> like, what do you want me to do? Like, he's in a, yeah. and I, and it gave me that I, cause, and then it brought me back to when I was like 19 and I was uh, friends with Nick and we were comedians in Boston and there was a, uh, a pinball machine we really liked playing at this one club. So we're playing pinball against each other. 
And when it was my turn, I was starting to beat his score. And he just put his hand over my hand <laughs> so I couldn't flip. And he just looked at me like this. And I'm like, really? And he goes, yeah, I win. <laughs> I win. I don't care. But he Jackson, was big, too. Wasn't Jackson was, yes. Jackson was the first. Yeah, he was a football player. Yeah. A college football player. Jackson was the first president to go like, uh, fuck you! I'm I'm winning! I'm yeah. winning this! I don't care what happens to you. Jesus. We're, we're gonna we're gonna you know. So um, he also one of the big things with Jackson. He was the, he vetoed more bills than every president before him combined. Nice. He hated the banks. He he like went to war. It's crazy that he's on the twenty. Yeah. It's like a joke because he hated the idea of a central bank. He hated the idea of a treasury. He thought that it should just be folks have their yeah. money, use gold, and you trade. And he wanted. So I think know, the U.S. bank. At the time, I think it was called the United States, like the Bank of the United States, was up for re to be renewed. Mm -hmm. Ard Spaz almost never. He's going you long fuse as a youth. Twenty pops. It, it, it's coming fuse. then. Pop, pop. It still hasn't come. Oh, it's gonna be even when you're little. I mean, maybe when I was little, like, yeah. The, the closest thing I can think of is spazzing is like spazzing on your sisters getting sent up to my room and being like, "I'm yeah, not dude. like." That's just a that's a very young man though. That's, that's I know. That's post, what I'm just saying. I don't think we're talking about back. We're talking about crying in grade school. We're not Actually, talking about right now. No, I know. I'm cool, good, calm, collected. That's the start of a pretty good idea because like post like post coming post come I don't spaz. Yeah, he spazzes post come until you post come until you can once you can crumb. Spaz. Oh, 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 oh. You're After your first crumb, you don't spaz. I've been some post cum spazzes in my life. Yeah, you are a spaz, though. I'm a big time spaz. Yeah. I spaz out. I think my I blood chill. pressure's going to go down. Really? I'm going to drive all day long in Philly. It makes you irate. Yo, dude. That was a big world, bro. When I was driving down here, I had a moment where I was, <laughs> I rarely have them. Yeah. I, was I like, got three Damn. words. I got three bad words, and I'll say. I was just, I was driving, and I was like, shit's good, dude. Shit's really fucking good. I was very happy. <laughs> Sorry, it's and so then, funny yeah. where you went with that. You're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, you no. start talking about traffic. I mean, no, and then sure. I got cut yeah. off. I went from Ooh. like literally like almost crying, happy. Yeah. yeah. Like I was like, damn, I'm going home for Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh, Everything's dude. good. I love everybody. This is sick. What's better than this, dude? I get to come to Philly and josh around with my yeah. pals. Yeah. What the fuck? What am I complaining about all the time? This is Good as a guess. True. And then uh, Hype Beast cut me off. <laughs> <laughs> I got now furious. E easy season four. <laughs> and then I yeah. got furious. Damn, dude. the bubbles were fucking. Yeah. He hit your magma core. It got me. Your fucking volcanic core. But uh, yeah, I don't. Uh, I'm trying to think of spaz. You didn't drive. like. I don't you, think I fully spaz. Last time I spaz was when the city came after me. Remember that? Oh, yeah. I was driving. I was driving around, not crying, but like. Yeah. Crying, hot like, face, not crying, but like fucking shaky voice. Yeah, vertigo. Scre anyone calling me, I'm screaming at them. <laughs> <laughs> They're trying to take your house. What's that movie with Denzel Washington where he goes in the place with a bomb strapped to his chest? Oh, uh, man kid. on fire or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah. John, Q. John, John Q. John Q. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you had a good two years where you were convinced, and you know you had definitely you had a reason to be convinced that the city was going to take your house. Oh yeah, I was spazzed. Yeah, but you know, I was thinking I was listening to some Malcolm X clips. Denzel sounds exactly like Malcolm X. You know, he insane. played Malcolm X. I know, but it's really? insane how like they sound exactly the same. Dude, it's wild. Yeah, I could. Yeah, actually, I could see that. I never thought. Sorry, about sidetrack. I could see them sounding pretty similar. Why? Similar cadence, <laughs> flow. Have you heard a lot of Malcolm exactly. X? Dude, exactly. Yeah, yeah. I was playing. I thought you were just spitballing. No, no, no. I've, I was I playing. I was like, yeah, same I cadence. I like. I like. I like yeah. I've listened to some Malcolm, Malcolm, Malcolm X. Malcolm X does rule. Yeah. What a turnaround he's had in our culture, dude. Everybody's kind of being like, all right, Malcolm X wasn't that bad. Yeah, it was all it was all MLK was the man. Malcolm was kind of in the MLK middle. MLK is still a man. <laughs> Malcolm was in the middle. I mean, what the <laughs> fuck, dude? That's why he gets paid the big bucks. And we're letting things bring us down. <laughs> but then, yeah, every now MLK, everyone's like, fuck MLK. Now, like Malcolm's where we got to be. A lot of people, I'm telling you, they call him misogynist. The, oh yeah, the libs hated on MLK. He's colorblind racism, dude. I mean, they killed him. The Democrats dumb, killed him. They, they just followed the media. Democrats. Dude, the you call them the Democrats. Yeah. Democrats. <laughs> killed him, Democrats. Dude. Democrats. The demon rats. Yeah. Demon rats. The demon rats. Yeah, we hate those. Fucking Democrats. Sheeple follow the red media. Yeah. They don't care. <laughs> you know who else made a big comeback? We've talked about it before, but the the Arabs. Yeah. Dude, I was watching the Arabs. Saudi Arabia beat Argentina in the World Cup. Really. And they were, everyone was just watching the bros celebrate, watching the Saudis celebrate. They got to chill, yeah, They beat Argentina? Mm -hmm. Wow. Uh, it's about their time. If you rewind the again. tape, I may have said it on here. 
what that they were going Saudi Arabia has been somebody somebody who knew soccer was like they're the only national team that's had their national team together for the last like five months doing working together everybody else is professional they just have their own guys that are working yeah and they're going to be dangerous in the tournament and that's what I might have said on the podcast but I'm not quite certain I believe it you're dangerous on the outside yeah I mean I believe it are they still like like what's good with all this people in like England and stuff like doing all the gay shit like wearing this stuff and doing the one love thing what do you mean? I don't even know what like, you're they're trying about. to, like, fire up everyone in Qatar and being, like, they're putting, like, the one the, love armbands and uh, stuff. Oh, gay stuff. And, like, all these people from England are out there, like, oh, we love, like, one love, yeah. all this stuff. Is that for all the dudes that, like, fell and died when they built the Qatar? No, they're just saying, <laughs> they like, like, a black stripe on their jerseys. No, it's for guys who fuck each other. Oh, yeah. nice. <laughs> Not for the slaves who died building the stadium. <laughs> There's a Ronaldo No, it's for guys who suck and <laughs> fuck each other. They got a meme with Ronaldo grabbing a dude's ass. Like, no, Qatar says no homosexuality. Ronaldo. <laughs> Just grabbing it. Damn. Why would you do that? What? Like the boys are liable to pop off, and you're gonna sit there like in their face, hit them with the gay shit. Yeah. <laughs> they'll it's explode. A ta- you. It's a tactic. Dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll they'll will, blow dude. it. Like you'll <laughs> literally <laughs> blow you up. They've proved they'll blow ta- you up. It's a, probably and a you tactic. keep doing them gay shit. They'll get kishogged. They'll get what? Kishogged. Was that? He was a journalist. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember that. That was the Saudis. This is Qatar. Oh, whatever. Same thing. They border each other. Qatar. <laughs> you think you'd ever go to Saudi Arabia or Qatar? No, Why? No chance. I love Mac- going to Dude, Mecca would be sick. Powerful as fuck though. If I got you, white robes, wore the white robe oh, yeah. thing, you look wild. Go dude. Kingdom of Heaven. Perhaps. Thought Maybe Jerusalem. I should go down. Thought Jerusalem. Yeah, I'd be. I'd fetch a pretty penny for a beheading. <laughs> They'd be very excited. They'd say, "Look at this." Yeah, they saw so? the size Why? of me. They They'd might say, look at this American. Liver King was just there. Liver King was wearing Jerusalem. No, in Qatar. I think oh really? Dubai. Dubai. There's Dubai. a bunch of dudes in Dubai. Qatar. Dubai, right yeah. Now. yeah, yeah. For the UFC fight, that I was, dude. Same yeah, exact UFC thought. Same all the time. Yeah, you should start in thought. Dubai. That'd be tight. You go to Dubai and rent like a 360 camera thing and it's fucking <laughs> in like a sheik's outfit. Just, you can watch me get hung over in a hotel room <laughs> for five days. <laughs> you can watch me lay down. <laughs> can't really fuck around there though. Dubai? No. no. Can't drink. Can't like. They probably got the little snares. boys. They probably got the little boys on tap though. Yeah, bro. A little bocce buzz. A little bocce buzz. If you can't drink, there's got to be something to do. Yeah, you got to blow the steam off somehow. If I wasn't drinking these Bud Lights, I'd be balls deep in a kid. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't that a big thing over there, the bocce bozzy? Where? What? Like the in the Middle bozzy, East. You seem to know all about it. What? <laughs> yeah, dude. I, I read about it. I read it. It was, it was a, when they were doing the Iraq war. I think one of our... It was like our Trusty allies. Propaganda. We had to protect this these. This sounds like a Trotsky propaganda. We had to protect these. No, they're saying like they're Babies on our side, and we had to protect these like chieftain and warlord. Yeah, they always. Dudes. Yeah, they all. Did and they that. had a thing Afghan, where the village. Afghanistan, they all have boys. Yeah, the prettiest. They would take like yes. the prettiest boy, quote unquote, not my quote, the prettiest boy, and they'd make them. <laughs> they'd be like a dancing slave for them, and they'd all. I'd be like a status of symbol to have like a hot ass young boy dance. This is fucked up. We gotta get those boys the hub. <laughs> no, we gotta get them. The they do need the hub. They need the hub. The hub's going to slow things science, down over dude. there a little bit. Maybe we need to get off the hub and start bending. Whoa. What? Every day. Bending, hitting the knees twice yeah. a day? I saw a dude in Home Depot hitting it in the parking lot. He was an Uber driver. He just put a rug on the fucking parking lot and started bound <laughs> out. Dude, that's mega. Yeah. That, Imagine yeah. being right, that far up. into something. That does rule. It's pretty neat. That, that would take rule. your mind off fucking everything. If you're like, you're not worried about it, you're like, oh, fuck, it's 12 o'clock. Damn. So Damn. I saw a cab driver. Yeah. I, was, I, I was in New York. I saw a cab driver hit it. Hit it? Hit it midday. I was going to lunch and he was on the street. Yeah. Pulled his car over. That's hit it. sick. Yeah, yeah, I used to work with an African dude who used to lay pizza boxes on the ground, fucking hit it in the knees. Me Pretty and Tate might go. Muscle. That is cool. <laughs> it fucking rules. I'm dude. Yeah. I'm off. I've been off the hub still. Haven't fucking glanced. Still haven't glanced. Have at not glanced. ECW. I gazed upon it. Yeah. Instagram. <laughs> nah. Holy shit! Holy <laughs> shit! What's the Instagram Holy looking shit. like? Check my. I don't. I have a virginal. I'm not looking at the algo. I'm just asking. I believe you. Check the algo. It's like opening up fresh YouTube. It's just like really? 24 million Fortnite, blah, blah, blah. It's just, I don't fuck with it at Cringe. all. Dude, I'm t- <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I gazed upon the hub last night. It was a nice treat for me. Was it nice? Yeah. I get called it when everyone's asleep at night. I start going like, I like, I'll start salivating. I'm you know, like, I, I, so it much was good nice. stuff on there. Fuck, dude. It had been uh, uh, two days since I whacked off and I was. Got done playing Mountain Blade Banner Lord 2. <laughs> that got your uh, tee up. It got my True. tee going. Oh, yeah. And then Battle. I was like, damn, it's 2 a.m. Fuck, I got to go to bed. Yeah. So I start going to bed. And then I was while I was brushing my teeth, I was like, hitting a hazy jerk. I haven't jerks. whacked off in a Crazy. while. This will be great. Yeah. I get to go whack off before bedtime. 
Hazy you know? jerks are fucking weird. What? While you're half asleep? Yeah, you're just kind of like, oh, man, it's pretty. Like, you get home late, you're like, oh, maybe. A f- like a forced no, fap. No, it's nice. It's nice. It's nice, get, obviously. Get a fap but, right before you sleep? Yeah, but a forced fap. I'll, I'd fap when I'm like, I'm too tired to fap, and it's almost like I'm forcing myself to fap. That's when I'm kind of like, I don't, oh, mine feel, was like, I wasn't I don't even, feel so good. Literally wasn't this. brushing my teeth. I was like, oh, yeah. Fap time. I haven't whacked off in a couple of days. This will be a nice thing. Sounds nice. <laughs> and then I got to go right to sleep. I hit one baby dead Billy, ass early baby Billy. the other day. Little baby Billy. Up. Little baby Billy. I didn't even clean up. I went to sleep with him. Ooh. Can I tell you something, though? <laughs> That's you think, <laughs> a dirty you, boy. You yeah. think you need a fap to sleep. No, I'm telling you, up. you don't. You hit the sheets, you'll pass right out. I thought I thought no, of I course, a fap but to sleep, too. It's still yeah. fun. If I close my eyes, I'll fall asleep. Whacking off is still fun. Shane has a Don't real good to... attitude with doing like anything, like drugs, sex, all of it. You just For like, sure. it's good. It rules. Well, I mean, it's... It's, eventually it's going to take my life. But yeah, but yes. I'm just saying, like, it's good. <laughs> you guys have a real like, um, like a pilgrim. It's not true. Up. I do feel bad about drinking. Okay. In the drinking? morning. Yeah. Well, that's <laughs> physically. <laughs> physically, yeah, it hurts. But no, sitting down with the fellas, having a couple of brews, whacking off. I have no. I, I just, just hooking I, up, I, hooking up with women. I feel bad about. So do I. Oh, when yeah, I'm yeah. when I'm single and I'm it's called a soul being a womanizer. Depression. I feel very bad about hooking up with yeah. women. What do you do? People do this like who? What? Yeah. How dare you? Yeah. How dare you in this assume that of an entire, totally diverse race? True. They're capable of anything. True. Anime. Who would have thought that? <laughs> True. You asked me fucking ten years ago. I'd be like, are there going to be black dorks? I'd be like, no. God, like, impossible. 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 They're capable of anything. <laughs> dorks. Yeah, there's a there's, there's a decent. Well, that's the thing too. You don't realize how many black dorks there are until you like are involved with a black family like directly. And you're like, oh, you got a heavy yeah. nerd ratio going on. There's here. a strong. There's a. I'll venture to yeah. say there is an equal nerd ratio within the races. I'll say. It. Mm, true. I'll say it. Well, it's also nerd culture per got capita glorified. By white people for a while, where it's like, oh yeah, you, oh yeah, all those movies that came out, they're like that some guy science, in a varsity, Revenge of the Nerds, yeah, some varsity guys. Football like, players are losers, right? That must have fucked kids up in high school, coming into school like with like a slingshot, be like, huh, I got you, jock. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like I set up a booby trap for the jocks today, because first off, all nerds aren't smart. No, most true. nerds are just like retarded. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> retarded. I I learned, that, I learned that the hard way one time, and I cheated off of a guy in college. I yeah, he had, he had tape on his glasses. You're like, got it. Aggressively, the yeah. only guy I know who has taped on his glasses is fucking Wood. True, <laughs> true. <laughs> Literally the dumbest guy. I know. Would you ever see like a, you ever, like there's like extreme level of nerds where they like sit with like their feet like locked under them in a chair, and you're just like, dude, you gotta be smart as fuck. They like sit with like their feet, their heels will be like, up by their yeah. back, and they're just like. Sitting in class, you're like definitely cheating off this guy. I fucking cheated off his test. Then afterwards, I was like, I got a 68. I'm like, dude, didn't you study? And he was like, I was yeah, like, you just absolutely. Are you, are you are you a freak? I thought you were a nerd. True, <laughs> true. That is the subculture. <laughs> the freak nerd. A lot of the freaks. True. The freaks just... ruin the nerds. True. Just... Good name. I love a good. I like a good freak though. You see, a, you see a kid like hugging his books when he walks down the hallway. You're like perfect. I homed in on like a shark. I'm like, oh, <laughs> perfect. dude, kid knows. I like didn't study at all for this. It was like you know, his in book college bag was like that wild. Yeah. <laughs> his book bag was all of his books, and he's still holding some. It was just manifestos. Hands up too high. The khakis up high. <laughs> Not too high. That's the stereotype of nerds. True. But like his, he walks fast. The nerder you are, the faster Walks you walk. Walks fast and on the balls of your feet. You yes. don't touch your heels, touch the ground. He's a little light and loafers. He's a Jan port. He's like 40 pounds of manifestos. He's like, nah, that one was last year's. So I'm just the updated. True. And the freaks and nerds split when we were there. Yeah. Same with when our parents were in high school, the gays and nerds split. True. Because they didn't know gay people existed. <laughs> They'd be like, look at how he walks down the hallway. Fucking nerd. <laughs> <laughs> and then they were like, you know guys fuck each other? They're like, what? That's what those dudes are doing. Like, oh, what the fuck? What? That's so funny. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's uh Hey, don't get fooled, man. Don't think you cannot study for an entire semester and be like, who's the weakest in here? I'm just gonna copy. <laughs> <Here's> the <laughs> weakest man. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna copy. Yeah, girls, them. girls are tough because there's horse girls and there's smart dorks. True. Horse and girls. both of them are linked by like mustaches, <laughs> mustaches and like hair down to their ass. Like they all have like Amish hair. <laughs> and like one of these is smart. One of them is a literally retarded person. Yeah, one of them is just <laughs> here. 
for a little bit, and then they'll be right back to working with horses. The dad's like, all right, come on, let me go. Dude, over there. there's a girl. Oh, yo, this is a ah, fuck. I don't know how old she is. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Are you in communication with a horse girl? No. No, I could be fooled, dude. I've been tricked. Damn it. I told myself I was going to stop doing this. What? You remember Bad Baby? Yeah. I thought she was hot. And then someone was like, you know, she's like 15. I was like, I'm out. You're out. I'm out. I think she's 17 now. Still, it was been, it's been, I thought she was hot for a oh, while. Oh, okay. So I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Look, I didn't think who's she was bad, hot. Who's Bad like, Baby? I didn't think she was hot. Like, I wanted to fuck her like that. Yeah. You wanted she's to just like, Look at this. inbox her, talk to her for a while. I wanted to. Gauge your temperature. Wait till she's eighteen. <laughs> Is that wrong? I hope my. Th- it's called a grooming. I hope no, my I thigh. I hope my thighs aren't showing on the. I know. Me too. My <laughs> pants have been creeping up high. Yeah, mine too. Do the gamer chairs turn you into dorks? <laughs> <laughs> Do gamer chairs just transform you? I think they just pull your pants up in a way that like cut your testicles off from like yeah, producing. Just- fur-